I call it back in the day, uh, we had what we call community pride then. As a matter of fact, I was just speaking a few minutes ago, said we need to finish this out over here and maybe put up here that my Tittiesville is community pride because we did have community pride doing. Everybody knew everybody. Uh, matter of fact, back then you didn't have to worry about locking up your doors, uh, letting your windows down. You can sit out on the front porch at night and uh, nobody bothered anybody. The uh, base is the, the people. Uh, we talk about all the time that we didn't have no problem with sleeping with our windows up and doors open. I went to 6th Avenue Baptist Church and been a member over there over 50 some years. I'm 75 out by the way, you know. So uh, I've been around here all my life. I used to know everybody in the community. I was a paper boy growing up, so I threw just about everybody's paper around here. So I've been here all my life. In the project, we got to live in the project, but we played in the alley and uh, hide go seat and just family. We were just family. Some years ago, we had a Tittiesville ditch that ran through this area. Oh, wow. And that time we played in the ditch, uh, <laughs> thought of nothing of it. We caught tadpoles from the ditch, and uh, it was one of our actually one of, one of our play areas for those that live near it. In some cases, some would dive in and swim. I never did get that far, but I was on the sideline observing. <laughs> My uh, favorite memory is walking from our house over there by Center Street all the way to the library over here and dropping off my books and reading books and that just fed into me becoming college educated and going to law school. I really felt like my love of education started right here in my community. My favorite memory is going to people's house and eating because it, it's always open here. You can stop by and see your neighbors and talk to them if you need a cup of sugar. It's no problem. Nobody ever knows that you needed it. Everybody's really friendly and watch out for each other. I just knew just about everybody that lived out here and all of them were friends of mine. So all of them just about gone now. Very few people in the neighborhood that, that were raised out here. Glad to see that some progress is being made with, made with the community. I hope we can still move forward. Hope we can come up with a good project for this area here and the rest of and the rest of uh, of Tittiesville. Uh, one thing I know crime has been high, but one thing I'm hoping we can put in this area would be maybe a sub police station. I think that would be great for this area also. You can build something for the older people. They phasing out, but see sooner or later the young people are gonna be the older people. Yeah. And so they're gonna have to have somewhere to stay. They think they're gonna be young all their life, but I used to think that but it don't work like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like to see how how's the basic for a variety of people. Can't forget the young folks. But I like to make sure that older folks like me can get in and out for senior most of the level stuff, you know. Well, but you got to have a spare room upstairs for family, you know, bonus room upstairs or something. And in this place where we can fe fellowship and be friendly and meet other people and, and just enjoy life. This is, an, this is a classic kind of neighborhood that we hope we can reproduce all over the city.